Yay! <laughs> All right. Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to our Monday night team call. And I just wanted to say thank you, special thanks to Danielle and um, Chrisanne for today really brainstorming and strategizing and just these girls are amazing and you guys, I just, I don't know where I'd be without them. And I just wanted to say their input is everything. And tonight our topic is really all around teamwork and team synergy. And it's such a great topic, especially right now. And the reason that this is kind of bubbling up is because we're getting ready and gearing up for a growth phase. And there's lots of different, those of you who've been into the, in the business for a while, you know, there's ebbs and flows, there's growth, there's maintenance, there's kind of like staticky points, you know, and sometimes you have a little bit of loss too. You know, shortly after we hit NMD, we lost an SSC leg and that was a big deal. I mean, it was a huge portion of my, you know, um, numbers and all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, right after that, my dad got sick. So there was a lot going on in that regard. And, you know, you just have to really be grateful for the flexibility of this business and the fact that one, you know, it, it takes a village. It is a lot of people coming together, doing a little bit every day. And when we build it in that way, you know, even through all that tumultuous up and down, there was a lot of consistency, you know, in terms of paycheck and everything else. So I just want to thank you guys for that because, you know, it, like I said, it's everybody doing a little bit, right? And so I want to share a funny story before we jump into this because it's such a great illustration of teamwork in general, but this is how Danielle and I work. Okay, like You're going to hear from Jay Martin, our, our president. He says this to everybody all the time. The best thing you can get yourself to get geared up to have a successful experience in this business is a buddy. It's always about a buddy. And it took me nine and a half years to find mine, but right. Something like that. I don't know, maybe seven and a half, something like that. But you know, finally she kind of came along and it was like this, we just synced, you know, it was the way we communicated was right. The timing of it all was right. I could count on her. She could count on me. We never, you know, kind of left or took hiatuses long enough to impact one or the other. It was really just that nice fluid motion. And also there was trust, you know, that really like laid the groundwork, I think, for a lot of that. Now, sometimes you're bringing in buddies along the way and you have all those other things, but the trust is the thing that you're building because you're just getting to know each other, right? Other times it's, you know, it's the communication style you have to work out. Other times it's the you know, just the team interaction, who's going to do what, <laughs> you know, and that kind of thing. But I have to say that when you're determined to make a positive impact, when you're committed to each other, it really takes on a whole new life. And that's what's so great about teamwork. You know, it doesn't just have to be that one buddy. It can be your whole team. And what I'm, you know, kind of going to talk a little bit about tonight is loyalty versus commitment. You know, like I think we have such a loyal and amazing team. Like, and I love that about us. Like, I love that. And I don't see that elsewhere. I really don't. I think that's kind of unique to us and what we've built. But then there's the commitment piece and the commitment comes into like, how committed are you to your own activities? How committed are you to your own business, to showing up to things, to, you know, bringing attendance to, you know, working day in, day out to, you know, that kind of part. Like, how, and it's just, a, it's, a, it's kind of a measurement stick and there's no judgment, but it's something to think about for your own, you know, development, right? So the first thing, so we just got off, the, like literally minutes before this call, Danielle sent me a message about um, the Eltons. So the Eltons are this like awesome, amazing black tie affair that the company throws on for us. It's basically like an Oscars party, okay? I've been several times, they roll down a red carpet, they have paparazzi on the side, like people are like putting up, I mean, I'm not kidding, like like gowns, you know, the whole deal. It's so much fun. It happens always at fall conference. It's a pretty amazing experience to go to. You get to bring a guest, five-star dinner, entertainment to the nines, like the whole deal. Like every time you think you've had enough, there's more. Like drinks are all, you know, taken care of and you're mingling with the top, you know, um, professionals in the company, which is really exciting because you get to learn so much, right? So it's a, like an incredible experience. And this year, as I was sitting there thinking about it, you know, in the last six months or so, we've kind of fallen out of qualification for that. And I just kept telling myself, you know what? It's not even something that I'm driving myself for anymore. It was one of Danielle's goals to want to go. And, and I kept saying to myself, like, I would rally to get behind her to get her the ticket. But I don't know if I have it in it for me to go. I'd almost rather, like, have the night to hang out with the team because I don't get to spend that much time with the girls, you know, like in that kind of capacity. So she sends me this message about, you know, 12 club qualification, there's still time and all this stuff. And my instant response was, as I'm cooking dinner, hey, listen, if you want to rally, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go for it. Right. 
And she wrote down below, I was thinking more about you. And I have to bring that to you guys because this is not in my notes, but I'm, do you see just right there in that dynamic? She was sending it to me because she's caring about me. I'm deferring back to like, okay, what do you want me to do? Like, you know, because I want to support her, like the selflessness in that, the love in that, you see that that's what makes the team work. And that's what this team is founded on. And I just want you guys to feel that every step of the way we may ask questions or you know, ask things of you or push you a little bit at times because we see it in you and we think you can get there. And really it's not because of us. It's because we want to help you have that experience. Okay. So I just want you to really like know that in your heart when you're working with everybody. And as we go through this whole conversation here, um, and the best part about truly what we do is just the growth. You know, we've grown so much as a, a group. I've grown tremendously as an individual. I know so many of us have, you know, it's just one of those things. Like if you want your business to grow, you've got to grow yourself too, you know? So the first piece we want to talk about was culture. So team culture and, you know, teamwork, it, it really is, like I said, founded, the foundation is really stems from this piece of trust, you know? And a lot of times people come into this experience coming from a corporate background and in a lot of corporate backgrounds, we don't necessarily have that opportunity to trust our surroundings. Does anybody know what I'm talking about or have you ever experienced that? <laughs> um, I used to say I was going to work and it felt like I was like being hit by invisible bullets. I never knew where they were coming from, but I was like, there was like a mark out for me and how terrible, right? Because I was in a high profile sales position where I could have made that company a lot of money and it just to be, you know, sitting there defending myself all day did not help in that regard. Right. And I'm sure you guys have had those kinds of experiences. So you know, corporate versus Jews plus. So like, I really think it's important to, as we have, collect a lot of new team members now, and as we start to attract more team members, that we talk a lot about this culture. And the best thing that you have to invite people to is your team, period. Because the, the, the products are going to make sense to most people. The business is going to make sense to a lot of people. But the reason they stay is because they feel valued. They feel like there's a place there. They feel like there's something that they can contribute to and be recognized for you know, and because it's, it's feeding them and paying them in a way that keeps them interested, right? Because that's really the biggest challenge we have this day is just keeping people interested because there's so much stimulus out there. So is there anybody out there that's had like a corporate experience, like a true corporate experience, and now this Juice Plus experience that wants to share just a little bit about the differences between the two? We have like about two minutes to, to spend on this, but if there's anybody that wants to share that, I wanted to create space for you guys to talk and I can't see you if you're raising your hand you're just gonna have to unmute and jump in it's gonna be quiet <laughs> Danielle do you want to share yours uh, yeah, I mean, I've had, you know, a few corporate experiences versus uh, the juice plus team experience and um, Stepping into this team experience, I'll just start from there at the beginning when I started and got to meet, and this at that point was our larger team. So if you're familiar with the Trailblazer team and a lot of those gals, and this is before Zoom. So a lot of it was over just listening in on calls, and, but we also had Voxer. And even as early on as me just signing onto the team and like Melissa welcoming me on the team page, I couldn't get over the response and the love and the support and the hellos and welcomes and all of that that I experienced. And I honestly, at first, I didn't think it was for real. I was like, this can't be for real. These people, this just can't be this nice. These people can't be this supportive. But, you know, staying into it, obviously, I learned it 100% is real. It's totally authentic. It is just a community of amazing people. And, and we have built that even more so on our own honeybees team through the years too. It's the, you know, closeness of the friendships that we've brought in and the closeness of the friendships that we're developing as we all work together. And I've never had an experience and I've had some really good corporate work experiences. I've worked on some really amazing teams. I have some people that I are still in my life today. I, you know, Still, a lot of them are customers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to this day. And some team, right? Some join on the team, yeah. Right. But um, despite you know all of that too, I I've never had the the to the the support to the extent that we get through this team experience and through this business experience. 
And that is a beautiful thing, truly. Thank you. Yeah. And I, you know, and I, it was the same thing. I was kind of working my corporate job while I was starting to dabble in all of this. And it was just, I kept just feeling so led and so pulled in this direction because over there I was being told, don't spend as much time with the customers. You're spending too much time with them. Like, you know, you got to move on to the next one and whatnot, you know, and over here, although there's a numbers component to it, we definitely need to speak to a lot of people to do well in this business. I never was ever told don't care enough on that customer. Like it's, it's all about like, talk to lots of people so you can collect a really strong customer base and a really strong team and then love all over those people. You know what I mean? Like just pour into them. And, and it's really served me. Like I had a call today with a gal who is on her third juice plus baby third. I mean, how exciting is that? You know, because of me and I'm like, I, and I met her through another friend and I just like, I just, ah, I get giddy. Like thinking about like, we just impacted the genes of three other children, you know, that are coming out I'm going to make this world a better place. Like how insane and awesome is that? You know, like just, just through like the simple touch based calls, like over the years, you know, so you just never know. Right. But my point to the culture piece is that how different it is, is that in most corporate settings, you're trying to get, you know, not you specifically, but you generally like are trying to get a, a, like along the path. Right. And most of the time that means somebody else is in your way or in a lot of cultures, you find that people tend to keep their head down until they have something good to report and then they're willing to be noticed, you know? And I really just wanted to debunk that because here you got to think about it. We're all coming in new off the street. Like nobody has these skills. I didn't have these skills. Like I had to relearn everything. I had to start all over again. I had sales experience, but that did not equate to what I was being asked to do here. I actually had to unlearn a lot of those techniques and relearn this. So my point being that, you know, I think we need to just really be conscious, especially with our new people, that we want to create a a culture where we're helpful, where we encourage curiosity, you know, where we really just, um, I'm reading my notes and they're terrible. Sorry. (laughs) Um, I have no idea what that said, but that's okay. (laughs) Where we all just, you know, like kind of wrap our arms around each other. And just, I think the whole point is like, don't like, like letting go of the fear of being seen. Like, I don't want people to think like, you know, we have these momentum Monday calls. Like, I don't want you to ever feel like you're coming on and you have nothing to contribute or you haven't done anything lately and you're going to be judged. Like that's never the case with us. Like we literally, you know, are just excited. Like Jenny Hilly just popped up on this call and I can see her name and I'm like, yay, Jenny Hilly. (laughs) And we haven't even seen each other all summer. You know what I mean? Like, but like, that's my point is like, we're not, you know, there's no judgment ever in what we do. It's 100% love and it's 100% just like open arms, welcome. And that, that is what creates the culture. That is a huge component of it. On the flip side of that, you know, my challenge to the whole group is like, you know, asking yourself, like, where can I play a part? You know, there's going to be different seasons in your business. And like, for me, I had to take a big sidestep and there were times when I thought I was ready to come back and then I really wasn't emotionally, you know, like, I mean, I suffered a really big loss. And so, you know, ask yourself, be honest with yourself, communicate with your team members that you work closely with so that we know where we can support you. You know, there's um, like a gal on our team that I had reached out to earlier in the week and we were talking about a couple of things and her dad had gotten, had a heart attack. And so there was a couple of things that happened. And so like my next call after this is to just kind of reach out and say, Hey, can I step in and support you in some way? and help get you some tickets to this event, you know, or whatever that's coming up, you know, like that's, it's not the pressure to do something. It's the overlay, right? You see that the overlay, that's what we're trying to create for people. So my point in this is that ask yourself and be conscious of where am I in the state of my own business? Am I in a growth mode? Am I in a consistency mode? Am I, you know, where am I exactly? And sometimes it's a big spurt, you know, and it's kind of fun. And in that space, like as a team, if we're always kind of self-reflecting and we're just focused on what's my next step, what's the, what is this, the one step I can take? You know, sometimes you want to take 10 steps and you're like running fast, right? Other times you're like, if I can just like get one new customer this week, that's a big win, right? So like, that's your step. But if everybody's continuing to take these little steps, sorry, am I being weird in my microphone? Um, then the whole body, the whole team moves together. You see that? And then we kind of end up further than where we started off. What happens when we all take off or disperse in different sections or kind of like hide secretly or whatever is that it starts to fall apart and starts to crumble. And that's, that makes it really hard for a team like ours who has so much heart 
because people are emotionally connected to each other. <laughs> like it's just a default. Sorry, people. <laughs> we all love each other. We all have a great time, but then we go like, Ooh, where'd they go? Where'd they go? You know? And you care, right? So it's that, that communication piece is so critical in those spaces. And that's all it is. It's just keeping, you know, a tabs on where you stand, what your next steps are, what you're focused on. And maybe it's, I got to take these next two weeks off to go do this, but I'm coming back in and this is what I'm going to do next. Right. Okay, great. Like whatever the communication is, it's just really important. And that again, creates kind of the, the culture piece there. But it also, when we're all taking steps, even little or big or whatever, you know, that's what creates this attraction force too for other people to notice because they're still going to notice the whole team moving in a direction. Even if you're doing a little bit less at the time, you're a part of that body. You know, you're a part of that whole uh, momentum piece, right? And so that's a key piece of it all is like just making sure that you're not working in isolation over here on an island. I know it's easy because we work at home, you know, that's, we work at home by ourselves. And those of us who do this as a full-time income, you know, we don't work full-time hours, but we're full-time income and that can sometimes get really lonely, you know? And so there's others, you know, who are so busy that it's really hard to squeeze things in, you know? And so, you know, you're on different spectrums of the gamut, but it's all about that staying connected piece. And that's why the calls are important on Monday nights. You know, that's why getting to the local events are really important. That's why boxer is really important. Having at least a three-way call set up inside of your team, you know, so you have connection points, right, with people. Um, and that'll keep it going. So the second point was teamwork. And I covered kind of a lot of that. But, um, you know, if everybody does a little bit, we can kind of create this incredible mosaic picture, right? I love that, that visual. And Danielle's going to talk a little bit about some of this stuff because she is one of the experts at teamwork. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, it's easy to be a part of this amazing team because there is so much passion behind it. But, you know, to Melissa's point, which she just said that, you know, everybody doing a little bit really does make a big difference. It's not about doing a lot of stuff all the time, but if everybody's just doing a little bit, that helps move things forward. And just to, to put it in an analogy, because we're all so familiar with our meal prep parties that we love so much, right? Think of the salad in a jar party and you have all your guests coming and everybody's just bringing two ingredients. That's it right? But then you end up with a table full of beautiful ingredients and you get to make a yummy salad with all these wonderful ingredients, which is way better than if you were doing it by yourself at home and you had to do all that work on your own. And really like our team experience is no different. It's everybody doing little bits and pieces to help make this beautiful, yummy, healthy salad, <laughs> if you will, right? And you can think of it in a few different ways as it comes to our team experience, whether it's somebody's going for a promotion and so everybody doing a little bit helps to raise that up. You know, when we think back for those of you who've been on the team for a while and those that are newer, but when Melissa was going for NMD and we were all making a push, it was exciting and a lot of buzz and it was all, okay, what else do you need? How far off are we? Who can do this? Who can do what? And it was super exciting and really energetic and you know, even if you're just getting in a couple of new orders, that's a big deal. Or, you know, you know, helping support your team members get through, like that's exciting, but it's everybody doing something helped reach that huge milestone for our team. It really was a team achievement and that's how it works. Or maybe it is just in terms of, you know, planning some local events or working on some events that you have locally. And so everybody playing a role in that, who's inviting to it who's playing a role when you get there, who's helping with the setup, who's helping with check-in, if it's an event that has registration, who's bringing display items, you know, stepping up and asking where you can help and how you can help is a really, you know, big, goes a long way. It's a big effort too. Um, and so everybody just, again, playing a role in that way. See, I have down a few notes too, but being visible and being active and that coincides with, you know, being visible and being active, as Melissa just mentioned, on um, the team calls. You know, the team calls are huge for us to stay connected. Boxer is huge for us to stay connected, even at the very least, like she said, with your sponsor and maybe, you know, an upline leader. Um, being active and being um, visible on social media, not just on your personal wall, but on our team pages and on our customer page as well really goes a long way for your own experience, your own business, and the team as a whole too. And I know there's some things we're going to cover about social media, not, not a social media training, but some things we've got working on um, 
that uh, as it pertains to team and kind of the direction that we want to go in with judging things up a little bit and making it a little more exciting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you know, the other point that we just want to make in terms of teamwork was we were trying to think of analogies earlier of, you know, how to, cause this is a different kind of a thing. Like when you play in a team sport, you all win at the end. It's like, you all have the same score card. You all have everything, but here we have individual businesses, right. That all kind of feed into and come together. So it is a little different in that sense. So think of it like this, like in an individual sport, and there's a lot of people who come into this experience having really not had that that past, um, you know, participation level ever. Like some people come in and they've never been on a team sport or they've been on one, but it wasn't really good. You know, there wasn't a lot of winning, there wasn't a lot of whatever, and that happens, right? Or you worked in like a team setting at like work, you know, there's always like, um, in school, there's always like projects and things you have to do. And sometimes they are really great groups and sometimes not so much, you know, and same thing with work. I mean, let's be real, you know, so there's always like different experiences that people come into this with. And I do have to say that the people who have played team sports and done well at that tend to excel here because they really, really get that whole, you know, like just for the love of the team thing. And that carries them really far. So pay attention to those people in your life and invite them, you know, to take a look at this. And they might be missing that aspect too in their life. I know I did. I was missing teams so much, like, you know, from, from all those sports and things. But, um, so the analogy is this, like you think of, okay, you can be like an individual, like freestyle swimmer on a team, but you're individual, right? So if you win your race, you win a medal or something, right? But what if you're like, same thing, it's just, you're still on the same team, but you play a relay, right? So now you have four people and you're all contributing to that, right? So now it's like these little groups of four. So think of it even within our own team as like little groups of fours and fives, right? Like these little relay teams. It's kind of fun to think of it just in terms of that, like everybody does a little piece. Somebody's going to be the sprinter. Someone's going to be the closer, the finisher, opener, whatever. But we all come together for a common goal, which is in the end is to move the team forward, right? And so anyway, so I thought that was a little helpful in terms of just thought process. Um, yeah, this, I wrote supportive and service to others. You know, you're really kind of looking for people who are really service oriented. And like, I always know we have like a lifer when they say things like, what can I do to help my sponsor get to here? <laughs> You know, it's just like that selflessness. They're so motivated to help somebody else like that. Just like it just, it just does so well. And it creates that loving community that we're talking about. So, um, all right. So I'm going to switch from here and I'm going to kind of turn a little bit onto the social media aspect of how this all works, because this is a place of growth that I really need to focus on. And I know if I do, then there's other people that do. But, you know, I was looking, scrolling through my own personal self, uh, Facebook page today, and I noticed, like, I was really doing a good job of illustrating the lifestyle, freedom with my kids, healthy meals, like recipes, that kind of stuff out there and about. But I had nothing in there of, like, team photos on my own personal page. And when we were in, like, our huge growth mode, there was team stuff all over the place. It was promotion this and, you know, um, gathering over here, an event here, and it was just like, there was that picture that's, that exuded ex like success, you know, for other people to see. And I have to tell you that that really helped support and create like a, an understanding within my own village, if you want to call it that, you know, of people that surround me. And I, when I talked to people, like one gal, she was like, Oh, I know, like you do really well at juice plus. And I'm like, well, yeah, we've, re we've reached as a team, we've reached the top level of the company, which is, which is really exciting. You know, I said, but there's so much more room to keep going. And she's like, well, what do you mean? Even I, I know people that are on your team, you must have like the whole town signed up. And I'm like, Oh no. <laughs> I was like, but I'm really glad you think I'm that. You know? I'm there. I'm like, I need you to help you with that. You know, like, you know, everybody, you know, so it was like that kind of a conversation, but the perception, right. And it maybe got me really thinking. So my encouragement to you guys, there's a couple of key points here that I think are really important for anyone that's sponsoring team members at this point. When your team member does something good, like there's been a lot of opportunities lately where, you know, we've had some team members up on stage or um, like you guys did a couple of, um, it was like the panel that was out there. And then I know Jen just did a, you know, a talk and Danielle was there supporting her, but it was really cool to see Jen took a picture of I'm sorry, Danielle took a picture of Jen who was up giving her presentation and then she put out this awesome, you know, like proclamation, if you would, you know, of like, hey, like so proud of Jen Bernstein, like she did an amazing job and da 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 da. Like that is smart marketing because it does two things. I want to use this as an example because I saw it, right? It came through. 
But what she was able to do is she overlays, right, that overlay word again, and she amplifies, okay, her success. And it's coming from somebody viewing it, which makes it that much more powerful to the person who's looking at it from the other side. And now it touches more eyeballs because both of them, like Danielle is saying it about somebody else and they know a lot of people in common. So now there's lots of other people that are going to see that because she kind of wrote it up that way to celebrate her. You see how that works? So we, my encouragement is that for anybody in the Orange County space, you guys need to help me because I am so bad at this, taking pictures and making sure that we get pictures at every single event. So we could be like, ah, like even if it's silly, fun, whatever, like, you know, clinking glasses, something just to be like, I mean, we did an event the other night and I didn't post anything about it. And I'm like, why, why didn't I do that? It was a team gathering. You know, that would have been a great opportunity. So all those kinds of things. We have one on Thursday night, so I'm holding you all accountable to take pictures. Make sure the pictures are good and flattering. We want to do that first. We are women. We care, you know, <laughs> but if you're then at that point, you take the picture and then we craft it, you know, like a post together because that's really where we kind of get like, let's be strategic about it. There's the business aspect to it. So does that make sense in terms of like the social media aspect? Because for you guys, I just want you to know, like when people see you engaging with other team members and they see you at like, you know, I love the, the post that Chris Ann puts up of like, you know, coffee date with like, with like my bestie or like, you know, um, you guys have some really fun ones or she'll do like work meeting, haha, ha, like, you know, like, and it's like, you know, wine or coffee or whatever, like, but like, it always looks fun and it always looks active and it, oh, and it's showing happiness, you know, really. And what do people really want? And they're sitting at work and they're scrolling through their phone. They wish they were somebody someplace else usually. You know? <laughs> so we're offering options for people, but it's really important how we kind of frame all that, you know, if that makes sense. So did I miss anything on that, Danielle? Um, I think I got no, I think you got that, got all of that. Okay. I'm fighting a tickle in my throat, so I didn't want to cough on you all. <clears throat> okay. So the next thing that we're going to talk about, and we'll wrap up with this, is just um, we're going to shift a little bit into, we had kind of a cool idea that blossomed today as we were talking, because this happens when we brainstorm, see so coming together, it's all sorts of good stuff. Um, one, our buzz page is getting a little bit stale. Um, I want to thank Danielle again for the millionth time for running our shred page because she does it like a champ and she's like getting really tired. So this is the time in the season to start recruiting new trainees, okay, to start coming up behind you. And same with the other, like we want more involvement, you know, and I don't think it needs to have any title rank to be in, in you know, a person that's helping us on this other side. It's just about getting more names showing and posting and commenting and all that kind of stuff. And sometimes it helps to schedule things. So we kind of came up with a, an idea to kick it off and, um, and a format, which I'll post this. So, but just, you can kind of listen for tonight, but we're going to start on the buzz page, putting out, you know, daily, um, topics, if you would, for posting, right? So motivation Monday is something that I'll tackle first. Cause I have, a, I swim in that stuff all day long. Um, then on Tuesdays, we're going to call it Takeover Tuesdays, and we're going to spotlight one rep, okay, at a time. So on a Tuesday, the team member is going to come in, and we're going to interview them about their Juice Plus experience, so their product story leading into their business story, okay? And then, you know, we might make um, Chris Ann the first one because she took she had the name Takeover Tuesday, but um, <laughs> but basically there's two of us on there. One's interviewing the other. And they're going to get to give their experience, their testimony, essentially, right, to our customer base. Now, it does two things. One, we know that the live videos pump up to the top so they get more eyeballs. So there's a lot of people in there that haven't necessarily been seeing the post for a while. That'll get more people paying attention, right? Then in addition to that interview, for the rest of the day, they're going to post like three other things, right? And I think I wrote them down somewhere, but it was like something like, and it could be really anything, but maybe like a favorite recipe, like the fa their favorite event, like pictures from their favorite event that they've hosted or been to. Um, and then something like um, their favorite workout or their favorite, you know, impact that they've had. I think that's what I wrote mm -hmm. um, from the experience, like something to that effect. Right. So it's like, it's engaging and it's fun and it's useful, but think about it. It's advertising, right? Because they're advertising, like the recipe stuff is it's adding value. Like that was the whole point. 
and Danielle did a really good job of pointing that out, but we want to create more value in the page so that people are more engaged in that. Now for the newer people, you know, I'm thinking of like, you know, Andrea, your pictures in my, my screen here so I can see you, but like, like how cool is it going to be for your customers coming in, you know, and you're pretty new, like for them to see you posting and engaging in this way, right? Like, you see what I mean? Like kind of neat. So, so we have motivation Monday, takeover Tuesday. So we'll have a different person each time. Um, then well, uh, workout Wednesdays. So one of the examples we had is we have this whole free online tutorial where people can go and get free workouts from home that like, I don't even know how to get to. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just being real, you know? So my point is, is like, how cool would it be for one of us to get up there and like show, Hey guys, I'm on a live video today. I'm going to take you into a really cool tool that we have available to you guys. Not sure if you're aware of this or not. Cause we have customers that have been around for like 10 years. They don't pay attention. You know, they just take it every day. Um, what a cool thing that would be for them. Right. Thirsty Thursdays. Like that could be a whole combination of things. I'm sure we'll get some up tails in there at some point. Um, Foodie Friday was the other one. And then weedless, weedless weekends where we can focus on tower gardens because they don't have any weeds, right? So <laughs> we thought it would get their attention. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, but just, you know, kind of like rotating through some of these topic areas. And one of the things that we're going to be looking for is really is for volunteers, you know, to step up and say, okay, you know what, for like, I'll take a, I'll take a Wednesday, you know, for the next time around or the next couple of times, or maybe for a month, you know, I'll take the, I'll take a Thursday for a month and you can do a couple of things. You can learn a new skill by timing your posts. I don't know if you guys know that you can do that. So you can actually pick them out ahead of time and then like set them up for when they're going to go out. That's kind of a cool feature. Um, or it just can like be one of those things that you're practicing yourself to get more engaged with social media. And this just helps you do that, right. To help practice that skill. So, um, so if we have anybody that's like super hot to volunteer right now, like throw your thumbs up and yeah, Greta, I love it. Okay. I see Greta, um, or comment somewhere or, you know, write us or whatever, but you know, um, throw up a smoke signal. <laughs> but my point being that, you know, the more engagement we have, like the more diversified it is, the better, you know, and if we have a calendar of this stuff set out ahead of time, then it's going to be Amanda. Yay. I love it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> then it just, it gets more interesting. And then your, your customers are going to see you because they're seeing your post with your name on it inside the page. Do you see? So it really reinforces that customer care piece too. So mm -hmm. I just want to encourage you guys um, to kind of go around and we'll figure it out and you know, we'll get better as we go over time. It's always mm -hmm. one of those things. Yay, Buff. Thank you. Woohoo. All right. Um, so there we go. So that's what we had for tonight. That was a lot. I hope I didn't overwhelm anybody. I'm all pumped and ready to go now. You guys are probably ready to jump into bed. <laughs> I'm going to walk the dog around the block or something. <laughs> um, and Jenny Mulcahy, I just want to shout out to you for getting on the call tonight. It's nice to see your name up there. Yeah. Thanks, girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys have any <laughs> yay okay good I, do you I'm guys have any questions <laughs> yeah you're off the beach yeah <laughs> I, I rolled it. off the beach <laughs> it only took a hurricane but yeah, yeah it's, it's hurricane typhoon whatever <laughs> oh my gosh so crazy all right is there anything else any other questions any any feedback from tonight was this helpful at all I know it's a yes. lot of culture stuff, but yeah. Okay. Can I, can I All right. Good. Something? Yes, yeah. of course. I was just thinking back to like the corporate stuff we were talking about in the beginning. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, what I remember a lot of being in the corporate world was like competition yeah. and you really kind of felt alone at times because, you know, you may have been up for a promotion. Like I was several times for things and, you know, who's looking at you a certain way or who wants that promotion too. And, it, it's kind of like a weird situation, but I feel like coming into this, there's like no competition, you know, like we all support each other, especially, you know, we have men on our team too, but like, especially for us women, women are bad. Like they're, they're <laughs> yeah. nasty at times, you know, they're the ones that are really competitive and jealous and whatever. And I don't find that at all. In, especially in our team, but I mean, overall in the company, you see that mm -hmm. everywhere. And I, I just feel like so fortunate that we have that 
and it's so different. I, I, I feel so blessed that way. So that was just my thought. Cause I remember feeling like that years ago. I love that you just said that because the truth of it all is, is like everybody can get promoted at the same time, exactly. at any given time at every day of every, I mean, it's like, there's nothing holding you back. Nothing, Different. nothing. It's, it's fast. It's, it's crazy. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, corporate America is the pyramid scheme. Yes, Greta. Yes. You're so smart. You're right. Because you have to climb on top of each other to get there. And you know, when there's four people going for a promotion and only one of them can have it or whatever, but like we can have all four of them and say, come on, let's group you together and coach you together. And like, let's all get there. Like it's such a different dynamic, right? Like you can get a promotion and you can get a promotion. And you can get a promotion. <laughs> let's hand them out. <laughs> I love it. And wait till it happens because I get really crazy giddy. It's so hysterical. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst, right? It's like Christmas. I just, I love, 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 like nothing more in the world than promotions. It's so much fun. So yeah. <laughs> all right, you guys, I love you all so very much. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. It was a great call and I hope that you'll get your team members to come and listen to it so that they can get a little glimpse of, you know, again, it's just the best thing to attract to is team, right? So Right. Use your team with that. Yeah. Okay. Have a good night, everybody. Good night, good guys. Good night, everyone. <laughs>